Again, crystal structure. As iron and steel cool from their liquid molten state or their plastic state to a solid, crystals start to form, also known as grain structures. And I'm going to show you uh, the process of what happens um, when steel starts to cool from a molten state. The atoms arrange themselves in an organized pattern, and it's known as a space lattice. The arrangements of the atoms within the space lattice is known as the unit cells. Unit cell. There are many different crystal structures, but here are the four most common. A body center cubic, a face center cubic, closed packed, uh, hexagonal, body centered, tetragonal. We're going to talk about each one of those and I'll show you some, um, some slides and some examples of each one of these crystal structures. So these are out of your book, text page 120, and it shows you the body centered, face centered, closed packed, hexagonal, body centered, tetragonal. Okay, we'll talk about uh, each one of these. And as you can see, um, they have an atom, in e like the body center cubic has an atom in each corner. And then one atom right in the center. Okay, and then face center, it's kind of hard to see in this, in this example, but if we look at the top of it, atoms all the way around in each corner. And then on each face, there's an atom. And on the top of them here, the hexagonal, one in each corner, one in the center, and then it's got three in the center of this example. And then the body center tetragonal has one in the center, one in each corner. Space lattices. Space lattices, these are organized arrangement of atoms in a crystal. They can be observed with an electron microscope. Different metals have different space lattices. The unit cell is the most fundamental arrangement in a space lattice, and there are four common types. The body center, face centered, close packed, hexagonal, body center, tetragonal. The body center cubic space lattice. The cell has a cubic shape with an atom in each corner and one in the center, which make up a total of nine atoms. The atoms are packed so tightly they almost touch each other. Common metals include chromium, molybdenum, tantalum, tungsten, vanadium, and ferrite, form of iron. Here are some body-centered examples. Face-centered cubic space lattice. This cell also has a cubic shape with an atom in each of the eight corners, but it has an atom in the center of each of the six faces, making a total of 14 atoms to make up a face-centered cubic unit. Common metals are aluminum, copper, gold, lead, nickel, platinum, silver, and austenitic iron. And remember, austenite only forms at elevated temperatures. And here's some examples of face-centered cubic lattices. Close-packed hexagonal space lattice. This is a very brittle formation that is found in metals that have very little ductility. A close-packed hexagonal unit contains six atoms in each hexagonal corner and one atom on the hexagonal face. There are two faces, which makes for a total of 14 atoms, but there are also three atoms in the center, so it makes for a total of 17 atoms. So just remember that. And you can look at figure 7.3 in your textbook. Uh, common metals are cadmium, cobalt, magnesium, titanium, beryllium, and zinc. And here's some photos or some examples uh, out of your book and from elsewhere that show you examples of that lattice. Very brittle, 17 atoms. Those are the things to remember. Okay, so body center tetragonal space lattice. The body center tetragonal unit is basically the same as the body center cubic unit, with the exception of the tetragonal unit is a rectangular shape. It also contains nine atoms to make up the basic unit. It is the hardest, strongest, and most brittle of the four lattices. Remember that. There is only one metal that contains this structure, martensitic iron. And here's a pictorial view that came out of your book, figure 710 and 711. You can see how it 
layers itself in an orderly form. Ferritic, austenitic, and martensitic iron. Have you ever wondered why heat treating changes the metal? Here's why. Ferritic, basic iron at room temperature that has not been heat treated. Bodied centered cubic space lattice. Okay. Austenite. Austenite, the crystal structure at elevated temperature and it changes to a face centered cubic space lattice. Martensite forms when the steel is heated and then rapidly quenched. Quenching in water, uh, oils, salt water, and we'll talk about quenching mediums um, in, in upcoming chapters. It has a body center tetragonal space lattice. So take a look at chart 7, uh, 13 in your book for the properties of the three basic forms of iron. Iron and steel assume different properties when they're heated and cooled, depending on what application we want to use the metals for.